Hallelujah. Uh, can I please invite each and everyone to stand up? Hallelujah, Lord. The word of the Lord in James chapter 1, beginning from verse 22, it says in here, this is a reminder to us all, it says in here, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. Amen. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forget what he looks like. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. Let us pray. Most gracious Lord and Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word, Father God. Lord, thank you because we are confident, we are expectant that you have a wealth of provision through your word for us today. Lord, we pray that you are going to be our teacher. We pray, Father God, that you hide me behind you. I am just a mouthpiece, Father God. Lord, we pray that nothing in me will be considered in sin because just as your servant said earlier, I too is a sinner, Father God. And just like Apostle Paul, may be I the worst among my brothers and sisters. So Lord, I pray that we will consider only your words. We will consider only the words that you want us to hear and so apply it in our lives more than just hearing and listening to it. Father, I humble myself down. I pray that you tame my mouth, that you tame my tongue. I pray that you cleanse my spirit, that you cleanse my heart, Father God, so that whatever words that will come out of my mouth is only anointed and blessed by you, Father God. Whether this will serve as an encouragement, whether this will serve as an exhortation, whether this will serve as a rebuke, whether this will serve as a training in righteousness, that Lord collectively, this will be used for the edification and building up our faith in you. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Sige po, tayo po ay magsi upo. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Again, once again, good and blessed morning po sa ating lahat. Wow. Uh, do you have the joy in your heart, mga kapatid? Just look around and I know that you will know what I mean. Amen? Hallelujah. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, for gathering us today. And to all the people who are joining us online, maraming maraming salamat. Napakabuti po ng Panginoon. Um, maari po bang palakpakan natin ang Panginoon sa kanyang kabutihan? At uh, ganun din, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon sa lahat ng mga kapatid na ginamit niya ngayong umagang ito. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. At palakpakan din po natin ang bawat isa because the coming of one serve as an encouragement to others. Maraming maraming salamat po. And I just want uh, to thank the Lord as well for the surprise that He has given us na Nandito po ang aming uh, panganay na anak. <laughs> Kagabi po, um, uh, uh, San si Ate Grace? No, we just came back kasi may nag-request po ng uh, uh, house blessing sa Aldershot. It's just so unfortunate na maliit lang yung bahay. So specifically pala, they asked Ate Grace na ano lang. I did not knew that na kung pwedeng a representative na kwan. So nung pag-uwi namin kagabi, uh, we were not home long. And someone was uh, knocking in our door and sabi ko, maayos naman yung pagkakapark nung sasakyan. Ano kaya ang problema sa parking? I thought it was the neighbor. So, sinilip ko sa 
ano, door hole. Nakita ko na si Hi Hi. And really happy. Really happy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, are we happy to be gathering in the house of the Lord this morning? Amen. Um, katulad nga nung sinabi, ginamit ng Panginoon si Sister Alma and to all the people who exhort here in front, what is our purpose in coming here today? Any man? What is our purpose in coming here today? To glorify the Lord? Amen? Amen po? Is that our purpose in coming here today? Amen? Alam ko na marami tayong, we have a lot of plans later on. Some people have a lot of plans tonight. And you probably have lined up plans for the week. But let's live in the moment. And we came and gather here today to glorify the Lord. Amen? Before we start, just a declaration of faith. Can we just say that, Lord, Lord, I am here to pleasure you. Hallelujah. So my dear brothers and sisters, here I have a question. I have a greater question and I have a more important question. Amen. So tatlo po yun, no? So I have a question, I have a, a greater question and I have a more important question. So a question my dear brothers and sisters, has it ever come to your mind or has it ever come to you and ask What is the purpose of my existence? What is the purpose that I am living here on this earth? What is the purpose that I was born? What is the purpose that I am alive? Amen, my dear brothers and sisters. Has it occurred to you? Have you asked yourself that question? Especially perhaps when you are at a low moment. Especially perhaps if you are encountering Challenges and problems, especially perhaps if things are not going your, the way, the direction that you want to. Isn't it? We, we ask the Lord, whether perhaps that you are uh, the older generation, like that's just the generation of Irene, or whether you are the younger generation, like the generation of the youth. You probably may be a man or a woman. You probably be a rich person or... Um, uh, a middle person. Amen. You probably are single or double. I double. <laughs> you probably single or married. Sorry. <laughs> single or double. <laughs> you probably single or married, my dear brothers and sisters. Whatever your race, whatever your status in life, whatever part of the globe you came from, I'm sure that in one way or another, we have asked this question. What is my purpose? What is the reason of my existence? Why am I alive? Amen, church? Have you asked those questions at least once? In Genesis chapter 1, in Genesis chapter 1, my dear brothers and sisters, what can we find in Genesis In Genesis chapter 1, we find the information that tells us that God is our creator. Amen? Genesis chapter 1 tells us that God is our creator. That means that every other alternative method of creation that this world teaches us should not be entertained. Of course, as a student, They teach that to you in the school. Then by all means, you have to put it to heart. By all means, you have to study. By all means, you have to know it. But in the spirit realm, my dear brothers and sisters, there is only one way that we are created. And that is because God created us. Amen? In Hebrew word, that is the meaning of the word God. That means creator. That means almighty. That means one who yield all the power. Amen, church? In Genesis chapter 1, it also tells us the chronological order of creation. From day 1 to day 7, what, what, what has been created first and what come next, what follows. Amen? But most importantly, my dear brothers and sisters, 
In Genesis chapter 1, it also testifies to us the purposes and the will of God. Why He created this creation. Genesis chapter 1, it also teaches us that what does this creation brought to the Lord. Amen? So kung titignan natin sa verse 4, 12, 18, 21, and 25, it says in there, sa verse 4, when the Lord finished the first day, it says in there, God saw the light and it was good. Amen? God saw the light and it was good, sabi ng Panginoon. When He created it, He saw it and it was good. And in verse 12, it says in here, my dear brothers and sisters, the land produces vegetation, plant bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to all their kinds. And God saw, and it was good. Amen? Verse 18, sabi niya rito, to govern the day, and the night, and to separate light from darkness. Amen? So it talks about the sun and the moon. And God saw, and it was good, sabi niya ron. 21, my dear brothers and sisters, so God created the great creatures of the sea, and every living and moving things which, we, which the water team, um, water teams according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw, and it was good. Amen? So verse 25, it says in here, my dear brothers and sisters, God made the best of the earth after its kind, the cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw, and it was good. So my dear brothers and sisters, what we're trying to say in here is every aspect of the creation from day one up until day six, God saw it and it was good. Ultimately, in verse 31, it says in here, after God created everything, after God completed the creation, after God finished the creation of man and woman, including our four parents, created according to His own image, ano po yung sabi niya doon? And God saw everything that He has made, and behold, it was very good. Amen, church. So dito mga kapatid, the Genesis, God is giving His testimony. God is telling us that this is what it brought me. After creating and after considering my creation, this is what it brought me, sabi ng Panginoon. Ito ang ibinigay sa akin. And every time that I know that every time that God is saying it was very good, it was good, I know and I do believe that it brought pleasure to the Lord. Amen. If you are an artist or even at work, if you accomplish a day's work at work, and you know that you have given everything or the manager told you that, well done, you went Far and beyond what you ought to do. Very good. What does that brought you, my dear brothers and sisters? It brought us pleasure. Amen? It brought us pleasure. Amen po. So I believe that Genesis tells us that God is our creator. It tells us the chronology of the creation, but also aims to answer the question, what is my purpose? What is the purpose of my creation? And as God saw His completed creation, it was very good. It brought Him pleasure. Amen po. It brought Him happiness. Amen God was delighted in His creation. God was delighted in His works. And that includes you and me. Amen? He was happy with His creation. Di po ba, if you manage to acquire something, if you manage to create something, 
Di ba masaya ka that you have an accomplishment? Di po ba? Masaya po tayo that we were able to complete and accomplish something. Guess why? Bakit po? Bakit po kaya tayo masaya? Sino po ang masaya, hindi masaya dito na may naa-accomplish? Anyone? Every time that we accomplish something, we are pleasured. We are happy. You know the reason why? Anyone? Any punt guess? Anyone? Because Genesis says, you are created in the Lord's image. Amen. If God after creating was pleasured in His creation, if God after creating was happy on His creation, so we too who has been created after that image and likeness bear the same. Amen po. Hallelujah. Amen. And sabi niya rito mga kapatid, no? Revelations chapter 4 verse 11. King James Version. Sabi niya rito, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they were created. Amen. So dito, what I'm trying to say, mga kapatid, is Revelation teaches us that the Lord created you and me. Revelation, I mean, Genesis in the beginning teaches us that we were created for the Lord's pleasure. But also, Revelation teaches us the same. That sabi niya rito, that the Lord created us for His pleasure. Para sa kanyang kagalakan. Para sa kanyang kasayahan. Amen, church? In the beginning of time, in the ancient times, during creation, up until the end times in heaven, both Genesis and Revelation teaches us that the reason that you and me and all of us were created is to give pleasure to God. Amen, church? is to give pleasure to God. Isaiah 46, 9 and 10, again, sa King James Version, it says in here, Remember the former things of old. Genesis. For I am God and there is no one else. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, from the ancient times and things that are yet to be happy, uh, to be happen, revelation, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Amen, my dear brothers and sisters. So, mga kapatid here, I just want to point out that the Alpha, the beginning of time, the Omega, the completion of time, and even in between, the Bible has a lot of passages. The Bible has a lot of texts to explain to us that the reason that we were created, that the purpose of our creation, that the purpose of our existence is to pleasure God. Amen po? To pleasure God or sa atin in simpler terms, sabi nga ni Sister Alma, to give glory to God. Amen? To glorify God. Every time that we glorify God, we give pleasure to His name. Every time that we give glory to the Lord, we pleasure His name. Amen po? Amen, church? Amen. Does that answer the question that what is the purpose of my existence? What is the reason of me being created? Again, a resounding answer is we were created to give Glory to God, to pleasure God. Amen? And maybe we can jump to the harder question. Amen po? So we now know the reason of our existence to glorify the Lord. Maybe the harder question then is, sa paanong paraan? Amen? How can I, papaano ko na, pa, and I know that the reason of my existence is to glorify God. But the next question is, papaano ko iglo-glorify ang Panginoon? How can I pleasure the Lord? Amen? 
Psalms chapter 100 verses 2 to 3. It says in here, no, ginamit ito ni Sister Michelle kanina. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us and we are His pasture. We are His people. The sheep of His pasture. Amen, mga kapatid. To answer the question, Papaano ko i-glorify ang Panginoon? How can I glorify God? How can I pleasure God? First and foremost, in order for us to glorify God, sabi niya rito verse 3, Know therefore that the Lord is God. First, we need to recognize who God is. Amen po? Amen? Dapat po mga kapatid, i-recognize natin. Alamin natin kung sino ba ang Panginoon and first and foremost, God is our creator. Kasi sabi niya doon, it is God who made us. Amen? Because if that understanding comes to you, the basic understanding comes to us now, that who is God? God is my creator. Meaning, He created me. Amen? Meaning, I am His people. Meaning, pag-aari niya ako. Meaning, I am the sheep of His pasture. Meaning, tupa niya ako. Amen, mga kapatid. Alam niyo po kung bakit tupa ang ginamit dito, mga kapatid? Do you know the attitude of tupa? Ha? Huh? The attitude of tupa. They are very reliant to the shepherd. As opposed to um, uh, kambing. You put a goat in one place, the next time you come back, it has devastated all the plants. But you know what a sheep? Wherever the shepherd will bring them, even if the shepherd go away and come back, the shepherd will find them in the same place. That's the reason why, mga kapatid, maski uhaw na uhaw na yung mga tupa at may ilog doon, hihintayin pa rin niya yung shepherd to come in. Draw them to the water. Amen po, mga kapatid. There is an analogy in Israel. Na, you know yung ship pen kung saan ipinanganak, uh, um, uh, historically kung saan ipinanganak ang Panginoong Hesus Kristo. Ship pen na ganyan. May tupa na nasa labas, umuulan, nababasa. Ang gagawin niya, aatras na lang, hindi niya pa ginagawa. Hihintayin niya yung kanyang shepherd na papasukin siya. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, first, we have to recognize that God is our creator. That because God is our creator, my dear brothers and sisters, everything follows. Imagine, if God is my creator, that means that I will do everything for Him. Amen po. Amen. So the first step or the basic step on how can I pleasure the Lord, how can I glorify the Lord is first, I have to recognize that He is my creator. Na kung wala siya, kung hindi niya ako nilalang, I do not exist. And everything follows. What is my duty to my creator? Sabi niya rito, I ought to praise Him. I ought to worship Him. Amen. Amen church. I ought to worship Him with gladness. I ought to praise Him with joyful songs. Amen? So how can we pleasure the Lord? How can we glorify the Lord? Acknowledge that He is God, our Creator to begin with, and worship Him as such. Amen po? Psalms 29.2 Ascribe to the Lord the glory due His name. Amen. Ibigay ko sa Panginoon the glory due His name. Amen po. Ascribe to the Lord. What do you do when you ascribe to the Lord the, jury, uh, the, the glory due His name? Again, mga kapatid, recognizing. Recognizing who the Lord is. Amen po. Recognizing who the Lord is. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due His name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. 
John chapter 4, 23 to 24, it says in here, Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth. Amen. God is a spirit. So therefore, people ought to worship Him in the Spirit and truth. Amen. So again, recognizing who God is. God is a spirit. Recognizing that the worship that God desire is the one that worship in spirit and in truth. And as a creation, ano po yung kailangan nating ibigay sa ating pagpupuri? We need to worship Him in the spirit and in truth. Amen po. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God sa mga ginagamit niya, mga kapatid, to usher us and lead us in His presence. Amen. Who made sure, mga kapatid, our music team has exhorted and encouraged us. Sister Alma complimented that encouragement. Who among you here today made sure earlier that this day is not gonna be in vain? Who made sure earlier that, Lord, I am here to worship you in the spirit and in truth? Amen. Amen. Because Kung hindi pa kayo napuspos, meron pang part 2 mamaya. Amen. That's the reason, that's the purposes of our coming, to worship the Lord in the spirit and in truth. Amen po. 1 Samuel 12.24, sabi niya rito, Only fear the Lord and serve Him faithfully with all your heart. For consider what great things He has done for you. Again, we were talking about how to glorify the Lord, how to pleasure the Lord, recognizing who the Lord is, and worship Him as that person as you have recognized Him. Amen po? So, recognition of the Lord. Amen? Praising and worshiping the Lord in a manner that He deserved. And next, mga kapatid, sabi niya rito, only fear the Lord. Fear comes in two packages. First and foremost, yes, you need to tremble in fear because the Lord has the power and authority to make you and destroy you. Amen. So, dapat matakot ka talaga sa Panginoon. Mga bata, you have, matakot kayo sa mga parents ninyo kung gagawa kayo ng masama because they have the authority to discipline you. They have the authority to yank you. Yes, even sabihin ng government, but as a parents... You have the, the authority to uh, uh, discipline your children. But in the same way that you do not just uh, fear them because um, uh, they can discipline you, but that respect. Fear in the Old Testament talks about that reverential awe or respect as well. Amen. So katulad din natin that we need to fear the Lord because He has the power in authority to bless us, and He has the power in authority as well, my dear brothers and sisters, to doom us if we are disobedient to Him. But number two as well is, we need to stand in awe of the Lord. We need to give to the Lord the highest respect possible. Amen po? And lastly, sabi niya doon, and serve Him faithfully. Obedience. Faithful obedience, mga kapatid, with all your heart. Amen. So mga kapatid, to answer that greater question, how can I glorify the Lord? We can glorify the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters, by first and foremost, recognizing, kilalanin po natin kung sino ang Panginoon. Pangalawa, mga kapatid, dahil kilala natin, because we have made in our mind who the Lord is, ibigay natin sa Kanya yung pinakamataas na pagpuri, pagsamba, pagdakila, Ibigay natin sa Kanya yung pinakamataas na respeto. But most importantly as well, my dear brothers and sisters, ibigay natin sa Kanya yung faithful obedience natin. Katulad ng isang tupa, sinabi natin. Amen mga kapatid. Amen? And the most important or the more important question is, I just want to remind us, the question is, what is the purpose of our existence? We found the answer to pleasure and glorify the Lord. The second question was, what was the harder questions? And we just found out, how can we glorify the Lord? The more important question, my dear brothers and sisters, that I want, 
to live with you today that only you alone can answer is, are we living our life serving that purpose? Amen? Are we living our life serving to pleasure the purposes of God? Are we living our life serving to glorify the purposes of God? Amen? Hindi ko po masasagot yan in your behalf. I can only attest to myself. My dear brothers and sisters, I want you to ask that question. Dito po pumapasok yung 1 James chapter 22 to 24 na binasa natin na wag lang po nating pakinggan ang salita kundi gawin din po natin. Amen. Dahil kung hindi daw po natin ginagawa, pag pinapakinggan lang natin, hindi natin ina-apply sa ating buhay, hindi natin ginagawa, katulad po tayo ng isang tao na humarap sa salamin, nakita natin kung gaano tayo kaganda, nakita natin kung gaano tayo kapogi, gaano tayo kaseksi, but the moment na tumalikod ka sa salamin, nakalimutan mo na kung ano yung nakita mo sa salamin. You are God's creation. And you are created to pleasure the Lord, to glorify the Lord. And as you are looking at that mirror, mga kapatid, yan po yung nakikita natin. And I pray, and I encourage you, that even hindi tayo nakaharap sa mirror, even if we go out to the community, sabi nga ni Sister Alma again, so it's, you know, the message today, is just a series of parallel na we are trying to connect. Sabi ni Sister Alma again, encouraging the youth, but this is not just for the youth. Sabi niya ron, dapat hindi po iba ang buhay natin pag nasa church tayo at pag nasa labas tayo. You are the salt and light of the church. You are the salt and light of the world. Amen. Hindi lang po tayo sa church maging salt and light. Mas lalo na sa mundo. Amen po. Ang ating pagsilbi, pagsamba, pagpuri, ang ating pulpito ay hindi po dito, sa labas. Amen po mga kapatid. Amen? Amen. So mga kapatid, kumusta po tayo? Kumusta po ang ating buhay kristyano? Amen? Kumusta po ang ating pananampalataya? How is our faith? I don't know. Um, obviously, if you want to, kung gusto nyong, um, uh, um, uh, if you have an idea otherwise, please feel free. Pero mga kapatid, alam ko at naniniwala ako na hindi masamang mag-desire ng wealth. Hindi masama na gustuhin maging mayaman. Hindi masama na gustuhin magkaroon ng um, uh, investment. Hindi masama na gustuhin magkaroon ng assets. Hindi masama na gustuhin magkaroon ng mga uh, ari-arian. Hindi masama mga kapatid na magkaroon ng mga investment. Hindi masama mga kapatid na magkaroon ng kayamanan. Magkaroon ng properties. Hindi masama na magkaroon ng holidays three, four, five times a year mga kapatid. Hindi po masama, walang difference na magkaroon ng isang trabaho at saka sampung trabaho. At Abelina, hindi masama na magkaroon ng pitong trabaho. Dagdagan mo pa yan ng isa para maging walo. Amen. Pero ang tanong, na ibibigay ba natin yung Diyo sa pangalan ng Panginoon? Hindi masama na sampo ang trabaho mo pag hindi mo nakakaligta ang ibigay kung po, yung ano yung portion ng Panginoon. Amen. Kasi sabi niya doon, di ba, every good and perfect gifts comes from God, coming down from our Heavenly Father. Amen. Wealth, finances, health, holiday, trabaho, are this good or not? Good. They are all, they are all good up until that time that they take over yung portion na para sa Panginoon. Amen po. Nagkakaroon ng imbalance when they take over the portion para sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Amen, church. 
or bekenemen uh, <laughs> bekenemen ano lang <laughs> sariling pleasure lang natin ang uh, kinukonsider natin huwag po mga kapatid amen hindi lang po sana yung sariling pleasure natin ang ang uh, kinukonsider natin hindi lang po sana yung uh, yung ano yun surplus hindi lang po sana yung tira-tira ang ibigay natin sa Panginoon amen Again, sabi niya sa Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 27, We were created in the image and likeness of God. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, because we were created in the image of God, in His likeness, mga kapatid, we cannot fulfill the purpose of our creation if we are away from Him. If we are not in fellowship with Him, if we are not grafted in Him, kung hindi po tayo nakakabit sa Panginoon, kung malayo po tayo sa Panginoon, mga kapatid, no one can do their purposes kung malayo po sila sa ating Panginoon. Amen? Amen, Church? Yan, that is the message of John chapter 15. That I am the vine, you are the branches. Apart from me, you cannot do anything. As the branches, our purpose is to produce fruits, to yield fruits. But how can we do so if we are disconnected to the vine? The Lord says, if you are disconnected to the vine, clearly, You will not bear fruit. But the second most obvious is, you will wither. Matutuyo ka. Kung may tuyong sanga, what do you do? You take them away. And put them, mga kapatid, gather them to be burned. Amen po. So my dear brothers and sisters, to wrap it up, The question, what is the purpose of my creation? What is the purpose that I am living here on earth? My dear brothers and sisters, the purpose is for you to give pleasure, for you to glorify the Lord. How can I do that? I can do that by recognizing who God is and worshiping and glorifying Him because of that. I can do that by my faithful obedience. I can do that by giving Him the highest Glory, the highest respect, my dear brothers and sisters. And the question is, are you then living your life for that purposes? Mga kapatid, as an ending, I want us to look at the life of King Solomon. King Solomon, although the wisest man ever exists according to the Bible, Well, not anymore because Jesus came. King Solomon, the wisest man ever exists, pero look at what the wisest man did. He lived to pleasure himself. Amen. He lived to pleasure himself. You know yung pinaka-famous na story ni Solomon about cutting the baby? And half, and it was a very yung full of wisdom na decision. That's just mga kapatid tip of the iceberg. If you know the story of Solomon, story coveted hundreds, if not thousands, of wives. If you know the story of Solomon, every wife that he gained, he built them a temple of their pagan god. If you see the story of Solomon, Solomon bowed down to pagan gods. So what happened, my dear brothers and sisters, with all the wealth, wisdom, and splendor of Solomon, he lived to pleasure himself. Pero mga kapatid, at the end of his life, nung matanda na siya, nung malapit na siyang mamatay, sinulat niya yung Ecclesiastes. And what did what what did he say in Ecclesiastes? He started in chapter one. In Ecclesiastes chapter one verse two, it says in there chapter one he introduced himself. But in chapter two, sabi niya rito mga kapatid, vanity of vanities, says Solomon. 
Vanity of all vanities. All is vanity. Sabi ni Solomon, meaningless, meaningless. All is meaningless. Everything is meaningless. Sabi ni Solomon, lahat daw meaningless. Lahat ng meron siya, lahat ng pag-aari niya, lahat ng experience niya, lahat ng ginawa niya. Sabi ni Solomon, baliwala, useless, Because he found out at the end of his life in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 13 to 14, sabi ni Solomon dito, dahil sinabi niya yung kanyang talambuhay sa Ecclesiastes, and as an ending, Solomon said that everything has been heard. Isinulat ko ng lahat, sinabi ko ng lahat, everything has been heard. And here is the conclusion of the matter. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Here is the conclusion. Here is the most important thing. Fear God and keep His commandments for this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden things, whether it is good or bad. Amen, church. It's okay na mamuhay katulad ni Solomon. Kung lahat tayo mabibigyan ng pagkakataon at the end of our life to contemplate. Papaano naman yung mga kilala natin? Papaano naman yung mga ibang tao? That their family said hi to them today and that was the last conversation that they had. During the COVID, we all experienced that. During the COVID, I had a colleague that we say bye-bye in a Friday afternoon and that was it. During the weekend, he fell ill. Hindi na siya pumasok. And when the ambulance came at his place to collect him to go to the hospital, that is the last point of conversation he had with his family. And katulad niyan, he was one of those thousands who died because of that COVID. Mga kapatid, more than COVID, it happens. I have a friend when we were about to graduate, mga kapatid, in high school. Nag-practice kami ng graduation ceremony in the afternoon. And when we go home uh, after that practice, Gusto niyang magkaroon ng handa kinabukasan. Because isn't it in the Philippines, graduation sa high school, after that, umiikot kayo sa bahay ng mga kaibigan nyo, naghahanda. And because of this friend, gusto niyang meron siyang maihanda. After nung practice, nung graduation, ano yung ginawa niya? May nagbubuldozer doon sa kabila. And as nagbubuldozer sila, maraming nai-expose na mga bakal. So he went in there to get some Iron, ibenta na sa bakal at saka ano, hindi siya napansin ng bulldozer na atrasan siya. That was our last point of contact with him. Mga kapatid, pwede tayong mamuhay katulad ni Solomon. At sabi ni Solomon, everything is meaningless. Everything that you are doing, everything that we are doing is meaningless. If that is not purpose to glorify God. If that is not purpose to pleasure God. Because at the end of the day, sabi ni Solomon, all matters has been settled. The most important is for you and me, for every man, will seek to honor and serve God and follow His commandments because this is our whole duty. Amen. So mga kapatid, I encourage us that let our response be. 1 Corinthians 10.31, naging paborito nating verse yan in recent time. That Lord, cause me, allow me, I desire that whether I eat, that whether I drink, or whether I sleep, whether I go to work, whether I come to church, whether I'm driving my car, whether I am eating, whether I am attending children's meeting in the school, whether I am attending my one-to-one -one, 
uh, at work appraisal may one to one um uh, ano na yun yung six six weekly thing supervision Every time that I am talking to my manager, regardless na I feel na um, uh, I feel na he is not good enough. Every time that I am talking to my colleague, even to the point na na uh, ibang lahi siya at uh, meron siyang amoy, hindi siya naliligo. But ang kapatid, let our response be na let us not do anything that does not bring glory to the Lord. Amen po. So my dear brothers and sisters, if we are to be asked, what is the purpose of our creation? The purpose is to bring pleasure to the Lord, to glorify the Lord. And sabi niya doon, the one way is to recognizing that He is our Creator and that we ought to worship Him that way. Amen. Are we ready? Shall we bring back the music team? And let's worship the Lord, our Creator. Amen po. Amen. Do we want more? Amen. Do we want more? Amen. Hallelujah! Praise you, Jesus! Sinong kailangang magising? Sinong inaantok? Let's take this opportunity na magpagising. Amen po! What is our heart's desire? Amen! To give pleasure to the Lord, to bless the Lord's holy name. Sige po. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. We were created with a good voice. Sing for the Lord.
Come on, church, let us serve our purpose. Let us not just merely listen and declare the words. Say what it says. If you say that, Lord, my desire is pleasure you and to glorify you, then do what it says. Do what your heart seeks to do. The Lord is the King of Kings. The Lord is the Lord of Lords. He is our Creator. He is our Almighty. He is all-powerful. If the United Kingdom be courtesy to the new King, the Kingdom of God, expand more than that. Let everyone's mind Let's everyone heart, let everyone spirit submit and surrender to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords. Kung meron kang gustong isurrender sa Panginoon, kung meron kang kailangang isurrender sa Panginoon, then this is the time. You stand in the presence of your Holy God. Come and enter into that presence. Come and surrender to the Lord. And say that, Lord, I have been living in a way to pleasure myself these past few days, these past few weeks, these past few months, or even these past few years. Lord, I have been living in the motion for some time now. Lord, I have been distant from you. Lord, I have shut you. I have shut your stimulus. Lord, I even forgot the reason of my existence. I even forgot that you have created me to pleasure you, to glorify you. Father God, ignite that desire in me. Ignite that desire in me, Father God, that I may desire, Lord, wholeheartedly to once again bless your holy name. To once again seek to pleasure you. Father God, I am your mere subject. I am your creation and you are my creator. Father, I don't want to withhold today. Father, I don't want that there is a part in me today that does not worship you. King David says, I will worship you with all my elements. I will worship you in the spirit in my body, in my soul, in emotion, Father God. I worship you with all my strength, with all my time, with all my understanding. I will worship you with my hands, with my feet, with my legs, with my body, with my cognition, with my senses. Even I, I'm willing to be undignified in the eyes of the world. If by doing it, I can glorify my most precious God. My heart's desire is to bless your holy name. My heart's desire is to live up today the times of troubles even in the times of trials my heart's desire is to bless your holy name if someone is in need of refreshing from the Lord this is the moment this is the time or 
maybe you just want to recognize the privileges of the Lord. Maybe hindi mo pa napapasalamatan ng Panginoon sa bahay na Kanyang ibinigay, sa sasakyan na Kanyang ibinigay, sa Kanyang kagalingan na Kanyang ibinigay, sa holiday ng Kanyang ibinigay. Maybe hindi mo pa napapasalamatan ng Panginoon sa pabor na Kanyang ibinigay. This is the right time. This is the right place to say, Lord, thank you.
Hallelujah. Let's continue to pray kay Ate Merce that, Father, maraming salamat. Lord, nakikiisa po kami sa iyong anak. We intercede with our dear sister Merce, Father, that, Lord, yung alarm, your concern na yan, Father God, you are delivering it right now in Jesus' name. Tinatanggal mo yan in Jesus' name. Lord, let her joy be complete, Father. That, Father God, sa kanyang pagbalik, pag-attend ng kanyang appointment for that to be scanned. Father God, it is a confirmatory that we have a God who is alive. We have a God who works miracles and wonders. We have a God, our healer. Maraming maraming salamat, Father God. Lord, may mga kapatid po kami, Lord, na magbabakasyon itong linggong darating. The life of our dear sister Charlene and Lucy, the life of our dear brother Michael and sister Joanna, Father God. Lord, thank you for the gift of the holiday. Thank you so much, Lord, that they are not just gonna go home to the Philippines, Father God, for a mere holiday, but you're going to make them as an instrument, Father God, of salvation, of deliverance to their families, to their friends, Father God, especially those people who are yet to know you and who are yet to hear from you. Father God, we pray that even as they will be away from us physically, that Father God, we pray, O Lord, that you give them that boldness, Father God. We pray, O Lord, that they may recognize that even in the state of holiday, that they can continue to dwell and live according to the purposes, Father, that you have raised them up. Father, we pray for the favor that comes from you. Till the late this place, Father, going to the airport, checking in, Father God, in their flight, going back to the Philippines, in their travel, going to their respective provinces, up until you bring them back safely in our midst. Father, let this holiday be blessed. Let this holiday be, Father God, fruitful in your name. Father, we rebuke whatever works and winds in the schemes of the enemy. Any illnesses, any sicknesses, even the monsoon typhoon, Father God, that it will not affect and afflict their holiday, Father. And Father, we bring back to you your family. You, we bring back to you your church, Father God. Lord, it is our desire, O God, that we will want more of you. It is our desire, Father God, that we will not just come to church for the motion. We will not just come to church, Father God, for the ministry. We will not just come to church dahil nakasanayan namin. We will not just come to church dahil parang hindi kompleto pag hindi kami nakarating. We will not just come to church, Father God, for many other reasons. But Lord, let our coming to church be because we love you. Amen. We recognize you as our God. And because we want to honor you and we want to faithfully obey you, Father God. Yes. Lord, we pray for the increase. We pray for the increase, Father God. Amen. Increase in faith. Yes, Lord. Increase in surrender. Yes, Jesus. Increase in faithfulness. Wow. Increase in obedience. Yes. Father, we recognize that you are the vine and we are just a mere branches. That we cannot exist, that we cannot succeed if we will not desire to be attached and connected by you. Father, marami po kaming mga plano, marami po kaming dinidesire, Father God, ang pagbubukas ng aming outreach sa Aldershot. Yes, Lord. At Father God, yung prayer, Father God, ng uh, midweek uh, fellowship, Father God, live and online. Lord, katigan mo po, O Lord God, ang plano ng iyong mga anak, ang desire ng iyong mga anak. And Father God, yung mga kapatid na hindi nabibigyan ng pagkakataon to support itong mga gawain ito, Lord, bigyan mo sila ng encouragement. Give, bigyan mo sila ng inspiration, Father God. Ipaalala mong muli sa kanila, Father God, that although it is acceptable to live for yourself, but make sure that do not covet the portion of the Lord. Yes. 
Maraming maraming salamat. Father God, itinataas po namin sa iyo ang buhay ng bawat isa. Ang mga bata, lalo na especially this colder weather coming in. Lord, we pray that you protect the children. We pray that you keep the children warm. We pray, Father God, that every time the children goes to school, be with them, go with them, and bring them back at the end of the day, Father God. We pray, Father God, that our children will thrive in their respective schools. We pray for the covering against discrimination, against victimization, against maltreatment and mistreatment. Father God, we pray for that internet, for that online, Lord, filter it so that kung ano man yung darating sa mga uh, uh, stations, na darating sa mga bahay-bahay, Lord, na makikita ng mga batang ito, Father God, ay yung mga pawang that will give you glory and honor. Father, we entrust unto you the workforce, ang bawat magulang na nagtratrabaho. Father God, we pray that they will thrive at work. We pray that they will be the salt and light at work. We pray that you give them the boldness of share who you are at work, Father God. And Father God, we pray for all the brothers and sisters as you have called them to be a part of the ministry. Father, ano po sana yung talento, yung skills na ibinigay mo sa kanila. Lord, ituro mo sa kanila the basic foundation to rely on you. The basic foundation to seek your presence, Father God, and everything will follow. Maraming maraming salamat. Father, your servant is very thankful that you have gathered and you have brought each and every one of us here today, that you have gathered and brought people online, Father God. Lord, ano man po yung aming ginawa sa araw na to, itinataas namin sa iyo, Panginoon, that nawa, Panginoon, kumilos ka. Nawa, Panginoon, ipakita mo ang iyong kapangyarihan. And Father, our church is just a representation. Marami pong local churches in the area. There are a lot of churches here in this country. There are a lot of churches, Lord, in the Philippines. Churches in Israel. Churches all over the world, Father God. Lord, we pray that this is the time of the promise when you have promised that the church will be united. This is the time when you have promised that you will once again pour out your spirit among men. Lord, let's see your church be a partaker of that end time revival, Father God. Let's see your church, Father, desire to be a part of that end time revival. Let each and every member of this year, church, Father God, desire to be a partaker of that revival. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, Lord. Father, send us forth with your Holy Spirit and bring us back next week. Gather us back next week, Father God. It is our testimony week. Lord, gamitin mo yung week na yan na ipabahagi namin how you have working marvelously and wonderfully in the life of each and every one. And thank you so much. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of your Holy Spirit be upon your people now and evermore. In Jesus' mighty name, all the people of God says, Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, my dear brothers and sisters, for gathering and To all the people who have joined us online, maraming maraming salamat. And once again, sa aming pagtatapos, ito po ang inyong kapatid, ito po ang inyong lingkod, ang inyong kaibigan, Pastor Hector Delong, na nag-iiwan sa ating lahat ng double shalom. Maranata sa ating buhay. Amen po. Amen. Amen.
church of the Lord this morning. Mga kapatid, tayo po'y tumayo. Tayo po'y tumayo, mga kapatid, and let's sing this song. Sabi nga sa mensahe ni Pastor kanina, the word it says, that we are here to give glory to our Lord.
Hallelujah. Sorry, uh, just another extension. I cannot just contain my gladness kasi, I don't know, for some reason nung kinakanta natin yun, it's just, the word just descended on me, mga kapatid na, you know, after hearing the message na He is our Creator na kailangan natin siyang i-worship, pero during the lines na, na with the crown of thorns, He became our King forever. Wow, Lord, as if it is not enough that you have created us na maibigay namin yung glory sa iyo. As if hindi po enough na ginila lang tayo ng Panginoon. But He was willing, mga kapatid, to put that crown of thorn sa Kanyang ulo in order for us to acknowledge Him as our King forever. Amen. Alam mo yung experience ng Panginoon na kung nakikita nyo, mga kapatid, if you came from Israel, alam nyo po yung alam nyo po yung ginamit na corona sa kanya? Um, what is that one now? O yung tisel na ginamit sa kanya? Alam nyo po yung thorn na yon. Some of them are five, six inches long. And hindi lang po inilagay sa kanyang ulong ipinatong, isinalpak mga kapatid. Nakita naman po natin no, nung pumunta tayo sa Israel, isinalpak. So you know that crown of thorns na nag-pierce talaga sa kanya. As if, Lord, it is not enough that you have created us na kailangan mong to wear that crown of thorns. Kaya mga kapatid, sana tayo we have no right, we have no authority to lift up ourselves above our God to say na we can withhold worship sa Panginoon. Wag po, mga kapatid. Wag. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. And may God bless you all. See you next week. Hallelujah.